According to the program, we should now have had Artur Lipart from Poland present either here or online. Unfortunately, this is not possible. Uh, just a few words about uh, what he is doing. He is uh, running a festival in Warsaw called Planet Plus Doc Review. Very prestigious festival, very successful festival in Warsaw, uh, which has been running for many years now. And uh, the interesting thing, apart from what he is doing with his festival, is that he is also uh, running um, theatrical distribution of films in cinemas. There is a, a, a link to his website. I will uh, recommend to you to, to go and, and have a look at that. Several films are going uh, into cinemas through his distribution company. And he has a VOD, Video On Demand, and he's also publishing uh, DVDs. So he has a whole package and it's actually quite quite a good idea to collect everything under under one hat, and that was the reason why we wanted him to come here. But unfortunately, for for private reasons, uh, Arthur could not be here. The plan is that that um, after the conference, um, Ludmila and Victor will get in contact with Arthur and uh, ask him to make a little presentation online, which will be put online after the conference as well as everything else which has been set in this uh, in this hall and all the links and and and, and uh, whatever and also uh, links to the people Nikita is it running very few people okay they're sl still sleeping huh? I think it's a time difference also yeah maybe okay but they will come there was one man from a very good friend of mine who is very from uh, from Ukraine who is following it, and, and and he's one of those who are really sharing with with other people. So it will go everywhere. Now it's your turn, Mikhail. Are you fresh? You want the microphone? Because now we are going to one more exciting point. So instead of going to Poland, we're going to Germany. A company in Germany called Gebrüder Beats. I don't know how well German you speak of their translators. It means the Beats brothers. And um, they, have been, they have been working in the film industry, uh, the TV industry for many years. But within the last four or five years, they have established a comp company as one of the companies that are, that are really trying to make new, innovative, and on big scale cross-media uh, projects. And we have Tanya Schmaller from the company here. And you will uh, take us through uh, an example of, of a cross-media uh, project that is very, very new which is called the Wagner Files. Let's have a try if it works. Yes, it works. It's running? Okay. It's not running? Yeah, yeah. Yes, it's running. The mic, the mic is running. All right. Okay. So first of all, thank you very much for having me here today. Thanks to the Docs Pro for the welcoming and to the perfect organization. Um, my name is Tanja Schmoller. I'm working as a cross media producer at the Gebrüder Beetz Film Production, and I'm going to uh, do a case study on the Wagner Files as well as introducing you the project Farewell Comrades as it was upcoming yesterday. Um, so I will going to introduce the company. Uh, what we do, why we do cross-media, and how we do it. Uh, then I will give a short overview about the cross-media formats we are running in our company, and then I will go into the Wagner files and uh, show some future project, uh, 
project. So the Gebrüder Beetz Film Production is funded by uh, the brothers Christian and Reinhard Beetz in 2000, and since then uh, we did over 100 national and international production and co-production, and since 2006 we do cross-media uh, projects, uh, where we started by just with a website, then with a web documentary, and now also with interactive graphic novels and uh, books. So we have four offices, um, the main one is in Berlin and in Hamburg, where we do the um, international productions, and then we have two, two smaller ones in Lüneburg and Köln. And the question is, why do we why why we do cross media? So what we recognized is that the uh, average TV audience in Germany is like 60 plus, and that the younger audience doesn't even has a TV anymore at home. So uh, there are new platforms upcoming. It's like a platform shift where everyone is buying smartphones, tablets. So more than 50 percent in Germany they do have um, 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 tablets. So as you can see on the, on the sm small um, scale upside, the numbers of selling tablets is really increasing the last years. So there is a new mobile market booming and um, new markets are upcoming, for example, educational market or the connection to museums um, online. And um, it's also a new way to get uh, business models done, so that you sell products in a different way. And the willingness to pay for apps, for example, is um, increasing. One third in Germany is willing to pay for apps. So our cross-media formats, as I already said, we started with, um, I think it was in 2006, with uh, Icelandic Sagas. It was a website besides the film. Then we had the Empire Me. It was a web documentary, also next to the film. And with Farewell Comrades, we did a, a, like a, a real own project. It was not part of a project. It was the own project part itself, where it was the, the goal to give archive, uh, give access to archive, bring archive to life. And Tanya, so could I ask you, what's a web documentary? The web documentary, um, so you tell the story online. It's not about uh, giving information next to a film. Uh, you, you give access to a whole story world. But um, how this worked is, I'm going to show you with this trailer. The Trabant, the Security Party, the Warsaw Pact. Who traveled behind the Iron Curtain before 1989? Who remembers Eastern Europe? Farewell Comrades is a cross-media experience. Six hours of documentary films, a book, an exhibition, and an extensive web project. Twenty years after the collapse of the Soviet bloc, this project burns into our memory one of the dramatic heroes of the 20th century. How did the communist world vanish without any bloodshed when it had dominated half the globe for a century? For that, Farewell Comrades brought together Arta, the European Public Cultural TV, and almost all major public channels from the former Eastern Bloc, plus Switzerland, Norway, Greece, Sweden. Farewell Comrades, the